Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that Calculate how much cardboard is required to make a box of oats which is of the shape of a rectangular prism. The length of the box should be 4 cm, width should be 5 cm and height should be 10 cm. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. And the first result is surface area of any polyhedron is the sum of the areas of its lateral faces and the basis. Secondly, in a rectangular prism, the lateral faces and the basis are all rectangles. Now let us see the definition of a net. Now net is a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional figure. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now in this question, we have to calculate that how much cardboard is required to make a box of oats which is of the shape of a rectangular prism. The length of the box should be 4 cm, width should be 5 cm and height should be 10 cm. So given length of the box is equal to 4 cm width of the box is equal to 5 cm and height of the box is equal to 10 cm now this is the box whose length is 4 cm, width is 5 cm and height is 10 cm. Now we have to calculate how much cardboard will be required to make this box. For this we will find the area of this box which is the rectangular prism. So we will find the area of this rectangular prism And for finding out the area, we shall first draw the net of this prism. Now here we have drawn the net and for drawing the net, we have cut the box and open it such that base ABCD is joined with four rectangles, that is the rectangles B, H, E, C. D, C, E, F, D, F, G, A and A, G, H, B and the rectangle F, E, H, G attached to the H, E, H of the rectangle E, H, B, C. Now from the key idea, we know that surface area of any polyhedron 
is the sum of the areas of its lateral faces and the bases. Now this is the rectangular prism and here area of this prism will be equal to sum of the areas of all its faces. Now area of the prism is equal to area of the face ABCD plus area of the face HBCE plus area of the face EFDC plus area of the face FDAG plus area of the face GHBA plus area of the face EHGF. Now area of the face HBCE is equal to area of the face FGAD because both have same dimensions. Also area of the face FDCE is equal to area of the face GHBA. Here also both have the same dimensions. Similarly, area of the face ABCD is equal to area of the face GHEF. Therefore, area of the prism is equal to 2 into area of the face HBCE as area of the face HBCE is equal to area of the face FGAD. So area of the face HBCE plus area of the face FDAG will become 2 times area of the face HBCE plus 2 times area of the face FDCE plus 2 times area of the face ABCD. Now the length and width of the faces FDAG and HBCE are 10 cm and 5 cm respectively. So area of the face HBCE is equal to area of the face FGAD is equal to length into width that is 10 cm into 5 cm which is equal to 50 square cm. Now the length and width of the faces FDCE and GHBA are 10 cm and 4 cm respectively. So area of the face FDCE is equal to area of the face GHBA is equal to 10 cm into 4 cm which is equal to 40 square centimeter. Similarly, we can find the area of the faces ABCD and EHGF. Now, area of the face ABCD is equal to area of the face GHEF is equal to 5 centimeters into 4 centimeters, which is equal to 20 square centimeter. Now putting all these values in equation number 1 we get area of the prism 
इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू फिफ्टी द होल प्लस टू इंटू फोर्टी द होल प्लस टू इंटू ट्वेंटी द होल विच इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड प्लस एट्टी प्लस फोर्टी विच इज इक्वल टू टू ट्वेंटी स्क्वेयर सेंटीमीटर देयरफॉर एरिया ऑफ द ओल्ड बॉक्स इज इक्वल टू टू ट्वेंटी स्क्वेयर सेंटीमीटर सो द एरिया ऑफ कार्डबोर्ड required to make the box of ports is equal to 220 square centimeter so this is the solution of the given question and that's all for the session hope you all have enjoyed the session